Hi and uh, welcome back. In this video, as you can see, we're going to have a look at um, unboxing the Panzer 1B uh, from Tacom. Uh, this is in 1 16th scale. Um, and as you can see on the, on the box, it says that the hatch is going to be built open or closed. Um, I'm hoping to do at least some of them open, um, although there isn't an interior in this kit. I do believe you can buy an, um, an interior for it, but um, it's quite pricey. Um, the suspension and the uh, road wheels um, all move, uh, which is quite nice. Um, it's all individual um, track links as well. Um, it does come with um, some clear plastic and some photo etched parts. And four markings for different stages during the early part of the war. Um, I believe it's two for... Um, Poland and two for uh, France, uh, 1939 and 1940, uh, respectively. Um, so I will um, start going through uh, the, the contents of the box um, to show you, um, so you can see what you actually get. So if you just give me a chance to move the box out of the way. This is the actual um, the hole, so it's one piece like bath type stroke hole. Oops, just move the cable that way. It's got a lot of detail on there. Let's see if I can uh, zoom it in for you. Let's focus it. So. Quite a lot of work's done for you already. Um, I'd much rather this type of hole where it's um, it's pretty much one piece rather than having to build up individual sides. Um, you always seem to be a bit of a faff. So that's that. I'll stick that at the back. And then one for the turret. It's got a nice level of detail on there with the rivets, etc. And then on the sprue, parts of the uh, suspension. Uh, move that back a bit more, you may see all of them hopefully. Uh, some of the tools, um, two machine guns, um, other bits and pieces. And then one sprue with various parts of the um, superstructure on there. Let me just move the other ones out of the way and then hopefully you better see this easier. There you go. Focus it in a bit more. There we go. And then you get two uh, suspension sprues and parts of the wheel. I'll just put that there for now. But you do get two of those. Uh, move that one across and then hopefully if I bring it up you can have a better view and zoomed in. Let's move it away. And then the reverse side. Nice level of detail. Uh, really looking forward to putting this kit together. Let's just move these parts that way. Two sprues of uh, wheel assemblies, etc. Um, another detail parts. Um, again, if I bring that forward a bit more, and then hopefully, and then the reverse. So you get two of those sprues, and then there's a rather large sprue which has got more of the superstructure on it and uh, a few other bits and pieces. I'll put that at the back because it's uh, it's quite big to hold up. Focus on that. 
Um, try and give you a rough idea of the size of this thing. Um, put my hand up against uh, there and hopefully you'll get an idea of how big this is. I suppose I should have measured it before I did the video, but I might. Um, but yeah, it's going to be quite an impressive little, mon uh, little model. I say little, um, it's big, but the actual tank compared to other tanks was quite small. You also get, um, I think it's 20 sprues, yeah, 20, which have um, all of the track links on. Let's see if I can, there we go. They seem fairly straightforward to put together as well. My plan with this is over the, the next few weeks um, is to get this built and then to do like a, a mini series of videos um, just to give you updates of how things have gone and show you how bits and pieces go together um, and also with it being um, painted and weathered etc. Um, back to the, the contents, uh, you get, um, I think you get 20 packs of the pins, no, sorry, 10, 10 packs of the track pins. So they're all in there and that's what you use to link all the uh, track links together. And then it should be fully articulated once it's, uh, once it's all uh, put together. Um, you get a small sprue of um, clear plastic parts for the lights, etc. That's those. Um, and then I'll show you um, the photo etch parts. There's only one sheet of photo etch and it's quite small. Um, and it's this part here. I'm zooming onto that. So basically the, this large piece here goes over the, the exhaust um, silencer. Um, it's just like a shield for it. And then you've got and zoom in onto this. Hang on a sec. Yeah, these small parts up there, six of them by the looks of it. Um, I think they go onto the the hole. Sorry, the turret. Um, it's a little bit fiddly. First time I've done photo etch, so that should be quite interesting. So that's that bit. Um, you get a length of copper braided wire. This is for the tow cable. Yep. And then you get your set of um, decals, transfers, whatever you want to call them. And what I do is I'll do a, a quick um, go through on the instructions. Um, it's quite nicely laid out. Um, this is the first time I bought a tackle model. Um, but I suspect I should be getting some more because it seems to be a really nice kit. It's well laid out. The instructions seem to be fairly um, self-explanatory, um, easy to read and follow. I don't know how that looks. A bit blurred. Zoom that in. Um, but basically, you know, I'll forward to it. So you've got basic sort of um, paints required, um, hints of that. Um, the decals and the photo etch. Um, this page you've got the parts so you can check off, make sure you've got everything. They all come in um, little poly bags. Um, so, in theory, as long as it's in a poly bag, you should have all the parts. Um, and then there's the lower hole and the suspension parts on that page and there. Um, I've had a quick look through this and I think I might do it slightly different to um, how they've given the instructions because I want to paint some of it before um, I assemble other parts. So I should probably do um, paint all the lower hull before these bits go on. Um, I suppose the order is going to be the same, it's just that um, I'll be doing the painting um, as I go. Um, I'll see how that goes and I'll give you an update on hopefully a future video about how 
how things are progressing and how that's worked out. Um, so yeah. And things like the, the wheel assemblies down here, um, I should probably paint this before these two parts are put on. Um, just, I think hopefully, what I'm hoping for is um, by painting this, when I put these two bits, they'll hide any untidy bits um, on here. Uh, that's the plan anyway, we'll see how that works out. Um, and then steps 9 and 10 on the next page, again, more of the, uh, the whole uh, assembly. And you can see the cable, um, the braided wire for the cable goes on there. Um, so yeah, that's quite clear. Um, and then assembly for the, the tracks. And then tools there. And then up part of the superstructure. And again, I think with the tools, um, fire extinguisher, etc., I'll sure probably leave those until I'll get those painted, get this all painted and the rest of the, the, the tank done, and then assemble these bits on probably last. Um, but again, I'll, I'll do updates as we go. Um, so yeah, it's um, nicely laid out. Um, seems to be fairly straightforward. There's a few fiddly bits, but I think it's just like with anything, just take your time and uh, um, it should go okay. Um, I think I've pretty much settled on a 1940s colour scheme for this. Um, I was thinking of doing it for the desert because I quite like North Africa campaign, um, but I haven't found any transfers to the version B of this. You can get them from Ammo by Meg for the Panzer 1A, um, but I've not found anything for the Panzer 1B. Um, so it's slightly different because you've got an extra set of uh, wheels, which I think is the, one of the main differences between this tank and um, the previous version. Um, the Panzer 1A had four row wheels, whereas this has got five on each side. So, yeah. and then the final assembly on that page there all goes together. And then, so yeah, um, on page 14 um, here, it's just the final stages of assembly uh, with the machine guns, the turret, etc. And then on the two back pages, um, we've got the camera schemes. Um, these two, I think, are for Poland. Yep. Um, not so keen on the yellow numerals and crosses, um, which is why I think I've settled for um, the 1940s one. There's two for 1940s. Sorry, 1940. So, yeah, that's 1940, but again, not so keen on the yellow uh, lettering. Um, so, I think this is the one I'm going to go for. Um, Nice bit of interest with the camera scheme rather than just plain uh, pans grey. Um, so, yeah, that should add a bit of interest. So, yeah, hopefully that's um, been a bit useful for you. So, at least you know what you get in the box. Um, and, like I say, over the, the coming weeks, I'll um, hopefully put some other videos together uh, of progress so far. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully by the end of it, we'll have a complete series of um, how to put this thing together um, and uh, have a half decent uh, result at the end. Um, I don't think it would be anything to uh, win uh, competitions with, um, but something half um, half decent, uh, something respectable, uh, something that I can put on display, um, a learning process. Uh, process. So yeah. So until the next video, see you later.